It's just a fact that at a certain age, men start to rot from the inside out. <sighs> I don't smell it. Huh. Maybe that explains what happened with that new guy at work today. All right, so this is Pawtucket Patriots National Distribution. As you can see, we are predominantly an East Coast beer. Hey, there's going to be a quiz on all this later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Someone said that to me once. Now I say it. Jeez, you are not going to let this go, are you? You're as stubborn as a four-hour erection. Well, she's long gone, so uh, you can go too. Oh, no. You got me for another three and a half hours, pal. Go ahead. Seek medical attention. I'm not going anywhere. You can't stay. I'm chaperoning my daughter's Girl Scout dinner in 45 minutes. Well, tuck me into your waistband and try not to pee up your shirt. Wow, that must have been in there a while. It's been weeks since I ordered from Hurry Up Shrimp. <sighs> Where the hell is this guy? I ordered that shrimp two hours ago. Uh-oh. Looks like you should have ordered from Hurry Up Shrimp. Hurry Up Shrimp? Well, that just sounds fast. On average, Americans spend upwards of 50,000 hours waiting for shrimp over the course of their lives. When I heard that, I thought to myself, why on earth don't these guys just hurry up? So that's just what we did. Come on, come on! No way this is the shrimp! Wow, it is! Hurry up shrimp, hurry up shrimp, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up shrimp! Not responsible for undercooked shrimp. Peter, the map is a joke. You're being played for a fool, like George McFly. Hey, Lorraine, whatever happened to that guy Marty from high school? Don't know. Never saw him after the prom. Really? Sure you didn't run into him, oh, say, about 16 years ago? George, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that our son, who you insisted we name after that guy Marty, looks exactly like him. You think I'm an idiot? That I wouldn't notice that our son is a dead ringer for the guy who fixed us up? Mom, Dad, I accidentally set fire to the living room rug. I am not going easy on him. I don't have stupid ideas. Haven't you seen my documentary film? Each year, the environment covers more than 40% of the Earth. Every animal on Earth lays eggs. This is a birch tree. Today, it will begin its 10,000-mile journey. The Earth neither hates nor loves, but sits waiting patiently for people to do famous stuff. Peter, come on, are you serious? If Joe or I found this, we'd want you right alongside us. Oh, well, yeah, we're like peas in a pod. Wait, wait, don't go in there. He's doing his podcast. Oh, that's cute. Now that I like. What do you think about this, you old bag? Oh, no. Yes, I mean, he's the guy who put all those little bald men in incubators because he thought they were babies. Look at you. You came early, but you're going to make it. I'm a senior vice president at an investment firm. Oh, someone's a fussy britches. Because you just had to stop for ice cream. Then you get in there and you order like you never heard of food before. Oh, coffee fudge swirl with Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, I wonder what's in that. You just listed off all the ingredients. Everything you just said is what's in that. You, Asian lady, you're the new Lois. I will have one scoop of mint chocolate chip in a waffle cone. You're a practical, straightforward people. Ah, Lois took the bike. Hey, wait a minute. This is a great time for me to do my Suzuki Samurai promo. Are you a Hawaii scumbag? Do you chug energy drinks in Arizona? Suzuki Samurai. Ninja name, garbage car. Um, this sucks worse than when I went to that strip club without Lois. I don't want to go to church. I always feel like that priest has it in for me. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Butt of Christ. Ah, Lois, trade me. No. Well, you're coming with me. Last time I tried shopping without you, it was a disaster. Hey, I'm home. I got groceries. You what? Yeah, I was driving past there, and we were out of some stuff, so I... You listen to me, you son of a bitch. I've got one thing in this lifetime. One thing! <laughs> you always say I never do anything around here. Yeah, I like saying that more than I like you doing things. Dad, I got the rest from the car. We're... Chris, run! You were right. She didn't appreciate it. Oh, crap. Ow! That's right. I do groceries. It's all right. We'll be in good hands with Dr. Hartman. He handled my reassignment surgery. I think emotionally, I've always been a lizard, you know? And now I feel comfortable, finally, in my leathery, scaly skin. Kids, if you need me, I'll be on the wall making rapid, darting glances. Is this just to get out of my parents' visit? No. Hello? This is awesome! Finally, I'll have an interesting silhouette for the beginning of my spoken word jazz.
I left my poem at home. Well, keep that freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramping my style while I'm macking on toddlers. See you around, bitch. Ah, uh, Chip, I am going to show you all kinds of cool stuff. My hot wheels, my lawn darts, even my new musket. Peanut, what the hell are you doing? Lois, I thought I heard a noise downstairs. Go stall him for 20 minutes and pray that it's not too damp in here. Whoa, 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 why? I was thinking we would just watch Dr. Oz and eat cold cuts off our stomach. Those people ain't taking good care of themselves. Well, that stuff sounds exhausting. I'm just being honest, like George Washington. George, did you chop down our cherry tree? I cannot tell a lie. Yes. And what is this pamphlet I found under your bed called the Boston He Party? <gasps> Not mine! What the hell are you doing? I'm using my knowledge of the local food scene to get this woman to go to bed with me. Well, now we know. I can taste what he eats. <sighs> this is more painful than sitting through those parent-teacher cheetah meetings. So, in short, your kids are all doing great. Keep reading to them every night, and I think we're going to have a great year. So, unless there are any questions, thank you all for coming. Uh, yeah, I noticed the hot lunch menu doesn't feature any gazelle. Ah. I'll bring that up to the board. Yeah, see, I, I, I heard that last year, and <laughs> here we are again. I mean, maybe in my next life I'll come back as an airbag or something. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Peter's got you. Don't you worry. Everything's going to be all right. Is my wife okay? No, the ski boots that was in the back flew up and chopped her head off. You can turn your blinker off now. It's very annoying. Just that when you were younger, you were as passionate and full of life as him. Hey, boys! Catch me if you can! Oh, crap! I didn't realize they had bikes. <laughs> what are they going to do when they catch me? Oh, boy, I got a back-of-the-head punch coming. I just know it. After all, I'm the guy who invented choose-your-own-adventure or have pie in bed. I picked the pie again. Just as easy as the creation of techno music. Wait a minute, what key are we in? No, 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 none of that. I gotta get ready for my bar mitzvah. Baruch Atah Adonai. I want fancy things like my friend Ephraim. I want the newest 10-speed bicycle that I will ride once, but then I will call my parents and have them come get me. I want to swim in the pool, but only with my shirt on. I want to lose my virginity at 24, but tell everyone I was 16. He became the new young funny kid on ABC's The Middle. Wow, this is just a whole bunch of loud garbage. <laughs>